so yeah that's the station up there so anyway, i'm going to walk over to sabi bridge now and we'll take more photos with the dslr than the uh, the other camera that i've uh, under my phone that's the 901 just walked up the hill there and look at the view across here now I've just taken a few stills with the DSLR and we're going to walk up here now right high up now I just got the path there and I'll get some still shots as well and there's a train I just can't quite see it the bin liner train is due in about 10 minutes the Wilton knows the Wilton bin liner, so I'll get that with the DSLR. Oh, it's a, a rabbit. Oh, it's a rabbit, is it? A hair. Similar, but like a bit bigger a hairs. What a cracking view. Right, we just turned off that uh, road that was, well, really a footpath, but anyway, and that's looking back down to the, towards the station, to, towards my other road. So I'm using the phone at the moment. I didn't bring the Osmo Pocket 3 because I didn't plan on doing a video today. I thought we'd just take a few stills with the DSLR, but uh, rather than just do that, we've had to take a, a bit of video just to kind of knit it all together, for want of a better phrase. I've just come through that gateway there and on here, and look what this is now. Yeah, it's one of these here. Uh, fire beacon things you like the fire in the top I'm not sure what it's all about but looks like someone's done it not so long ago actually you know what's that thing from there called it El Pagan system whatever so yeah maybe it is Pagan Anyway, let's go up here, continue. It's a bit uh, wet at the moment, it's starting to rain. There's some sheep here, hello sheep. So I just come through the gap there. It's still rather wet and muddy. Does it ever dry out up here? I bet it was a nice couple of years ago, went 40 Celsius, not very nearly. I bet it were dry then. By the time it's dried out or almost dried out, it just rains again and soaks it through. It's annoying, it's annoying. We need rain, but just in moderation, like anything else. Right, we're walking along Sowerby Lane for most of the next mile or so, and look at the view here now. It's starting, it's just eased off a bit, but it's starting to rain again now. It's so annoying. I'm back, and now you can see down the valley, the railway is right down there somewhere, because it curves round, and there's a little bridge down there, which you can see. If I zoom in, you can see it a bit better. And we're gonna go down there and cross that bridge from left to right as we look at it now. Okay, let's keep going. We need now to the left. I don't know where the one on the other side is, but uh, we don't need it. So let's go down here now. This should be a fairly steep descent. And there's no no sign or anything there for the path going the other way. Because yeah, so I think we're actually going to go down and underneath the railway line. Then we're going to go back up and over the top. Right up there, there's a big lake, but we haven't got time to go up there now. We're going to go back down here. We've just come down here and now we're reversing and going down this path. That sounds like quite a lot of water in that uh, stream, doesn't it? That's 
probably because they is a oh, reasonable bit. The nice in better weather. Everything's nice in better weather, what we're we talking about. So I've just come down from the main, well, for the road up there, and uh, the stream is there, and there's some kind of abandoned building just here, whatever it actually is. Can't really see much inside it, but. Uh, Oh, oh, a Transpennine. Is that out of service? Yeah, looks like it, I think. Mm. Nice little hidey hole, that. Anyway, some stepping stones here, which I must admit, I don't think I'm going to go for because it, you'll just slip off them as soon as look at them. So it's a case of just do this. I think, and get through as, as easy as we can, that'll have to do. I wasn't risking stepping on them stones, I'm sure they've gone base over apex quicker than whatever. Right, wasn't too deep anyway. That's the Wigan service, I think. Let's keep going, we'll get another train or two at the bridge. That TPE service was actually a unit going out of service to Leeds to work the uh, 1647 to Piccadilly, all stations, all stations, Staley Bridge. Looking back, we have just come from that one. There's a path here that goes up to Styes Lane. It's not a very long path. Anyway, this way. I thought at first it might have been a foot crossing this actually, but it isn't. We're going underneath the railway. If it finds up a bit again, I might get the DSLR out and take a few more shots with it, but we need better weather for that, really. We're virtually at track level here now, aren't we? Body is, anyway. So, yeah, we're going to go down there and across that little footbridge or whatever it is. So, that's looking back towards Ebden Bridge and Manvik, Blackpool. And let's look into what Sabri Bridge and Brighouse, Leeds, Bradford, whatever. Let's go down and underneath. That's all right. I thought they might have been slippy. Oh. Ah, here's the colder again. So the railway is now about, what, 20 foot higher up on the right. Oh. We're not, well, we're gonna cross it. We'll just do it there and back just to kill time. That was ambulance up there, wasn't it? Does look pretty good, does that? This isn't this isn't where we're supposed to be going, but uh, we'll just see how far it does go. Oh, it's just up to not go any further than that. Right, we left the waterfall behind down there. Let's get up to the to the bridge. If I brought the Osmo, I don't know I'll be using it anyway because of the wet, the wet weather.
Right, here is the bridge. So we're going to cross back to the other side of the railway now, We're on the downside. There's a train coming. It's a freight. It's a freight. Good timing, this. Stone train. Or gravel train. <laughs> Last two in the empty. That was lucky. Thought we were gonna have to go all the way up there. But no, there's a path here. A little cut off straight to that tree over there. So we just come from the left there, that road straight, it's a private road, just that house and farm, I think. So anyway, let's continue up this way now to the road and straight to Savvy Bridge. Right, we're almost done. Nip into Tesco for some milk and one or two other bits and bobs. And then we'll head to the train station. Another Wigan Leeds is cancelled, so... We might have to go via Bradford, but we'll see. Nothing's set in stone. Right, we've finally made it. And that's a bit late, so it won't connect at Leeds, what that one with the cottony one, I don't think. Yeah, we'll chance this one and see what we can get. If it does get to Leeds, I doubt it will do, but we'll see. It's from Chester. Made it to Leeds, and that's the train we just got off over there. And this is the one we're getting on. Four or five minute connection. That was pretty good. I really didn't expect getting this train. I really did not, but uh, spot on. Let's get a copy link, end the video. Right, we have made it back to Cottingley. We'll let this train play us out and we'll head home. Right, well that was certainly a much quicker journey back from Sarby Bridge than I expected, going via Bradford and Leeds. So, uh, yeah, not at all bad. I love doing four or five minute connections. We've done even less than that in the past. So, yeah, cue music. See you in this video. Bye for now.